Hey guys, what is up the NeoCubist here? Welcome to episode 17 of my Minecraft survival let's play on the Falling Falling 200 by 200 map. So if you watched the last episode, you saw that I made this beautiful, beautiful, well, there's a lot of ores here, uh, this beautiful block farm, an infinite block farm at that. Um, so blocks will just sort of infinitely fall into here, and if we keep up with it proper, then uh, eventually it will just fill up, and uh, or eventually it won't, it won't just fill up, but blocks will stack up like this, and we can collect them. And overall, it looks pretty nifty, so as you can see, I'm just collecting them. Um, that's not what this episode's going to be, not just me collecting blocks. Um, I promise, I promise it's not just going to be that. Um, but yeah, welcome to episode 17. I still, still do have a new microphone, so if you guys want to leave me feedback on that, it would be appreciated. But I would understand if you guys don't want to leave feedback. Well, I mean, I wouldn't totally understand, but I would I, I would do my best to understand. Uh, but it's nice that I had that I have a new microphone after all this time. Um, it definitely is a good thing. It's a good upgrade to the channel, I hope. I haven't seen the feedback on episode 5, 16 yet. Um, but yeah, oh, a parrot. Hello. If I had seeds, I'd give him some seeds. I don't know where he came from. Um, but yeah, it's cool. Oh, I gotta get that. It's gonna bother me. It's really cool, though, that we have our own block farm. Um, it's definitely nice. It's good to see that we have progressed in this world quite nicely over the uh, course of the whole world. Um, but yeah, I think this episode is going to be... I'm not sure. I'm not sure what we're going to do just yet. Um, but I definitely want to go and check. I'm going to stop because I'm just going to... It's My OCD is going to kick in and every time a block falls, I'm going to have to go collect it. Um, but yeah, it would be nice, you know, again, for feedback on the microphone. I think it's the third time I've already said that. I need to stop mentioning it, but I really am excited. I have it on a boom arm, which is super cool for me, at least. I don't, um, I didn't have one before. I just had a desktop mic for, like, three or four years, if you can believe it. And this, I'm not going to look at it. I don't want to look at it from behind. Villager, how did you, hello, but where, <laughs> okay. All right, dude, come on, we're going to get it, we're going to get inside. We're going to get you inside, come on. No, we're, we're going to go inside. You, you need to... Yes. Yes, go in there. Yes. Very, very smart villager. You are the most smart. How did he get outside of here? That's what I want to know. They keep leaving this area, and there's no way for them to get out, so I'm, I, I'm confusion. I don't understand how they keep getting out, but they do, and they keep leaving. And then they come back, and they're like, where have you been? I, I've been traveling the depths of Minecraft. And I can't, I'm like, dude, you need to... They don't actually talk to me. I promise. That'd be really weird if I if I thought they talked to me. But I just want to know where they keep going, because I'm curious. Um, I don't understand why they keep disappearing and then reappearing, but I guess I can't control it. I guess they're going to do what they want to do. They are adults, after all. But yeah, I have a lot of smooth stone, because this is a silk touch pickaxe. So I have a lot of I have a lot of smooth stone, just a wee bit, just a wee bit. Uh, but we did upgrade our base, which looks a whole lot better than it did. Um, our wheat farm is slowly growing and slowly increasing. I think there's a few we could mine in here. Might as well. Um, but yeah, I'd like an area for cows to spawn and stuff. But I don't want to dig anything out this episode. I I just dug out so much stuff that I don't think I have it in me to dig out anything else. Um, which you know, I mean that that means this episode won't have a project. Oh no, no project. What are we gonna do? I don't know. Um, but let me check our cow farm because it doesn't really. Oh, <laughs> it doesn't really run when we're not here. Um, which you know that's okay. But if I like sit here AFK, I bet after a while I'd have so much stuff that I wouldn't be able to use it all. Like go in here, cow. There's a, where's another cow? Um, there is a spawner though, which someone did mention it. I didn't miss it or anything. I just didn't mention it, and this is gonna take forever. Um, but yeah, th oh, I actually have a, no, I can't do that anymore. I was going to say I could just, uh, go on top and run. It'd be faster than this, but I can't. So let me wait till I get to the end. All right. Well, we're almost here. Um, what I was going to say is there's a spawner over here. I think it's a husk spawner. I think that's the correct terminology. It's like one of these weird looking skeletons. It's kind of hard to see even from above. And it's like a weird looking skeleton thing. And, uh, it's just been sitting there for a while. Um, I guess one thing we could do is collect lapis lazuli. I kind of want to explore the world um, from above at this point. We also have our tree farm over here, which should be functioning. I don't, I don't see why it wouldn't be. I don't need these things. I want to keep the wheat, though. I just heard the huff of a cow, but I don't know where it is. Um, but yeah, slowly as our world... Do we, do we have anything useful over here that I want to take? No. Nothing. Nothing good, at least. Um, so let's, let's get back up over here. I think there's somewhat of a staircase... Of course, it gets filled in, you know, being falling, falling. 
and I guess I sort of fill it in myself. Um, but we don't have a way to get, oh my god. It actually grew, the mega tree grew. I mean, most of it did. Now I'm gonna break these leaves in hopes that this will allow it to fully grow. Because you guys have any idea how sick it would be to have a mega tree? Like literal, like, like the thickest tree ever. That would be so sick. That That's gonna be the goal of this episode. To get the thickest tree ever. I don't know how how hard it will be to get it to grow. I imagine it won't be easy. But I think I think we can accomplish this. Whether it be through bone meal, I mean we'll just have to wait for a while. Uh, but hopefully these saplings will grow. Is there any other ones that didn't grow? Yeah, this one right here. Alright, we're gonna fix that for you, buddy. We're gonna make it possible for you to grow into the big strong man you deserve to be. You sapling you. Okay. This should be interesting, because I'm curious to see. I don't know how much of this I actually realistically have to dig out to make it work. But I feel like I should do my due diligence and dig out like at least that much. Because this whole side grew and this whole side grew and it just looks like the thickest tree in the world. Let me look at it from afar. We'll go over here. Oh yeah, she thick. Oh no! Okay, well there are blocks starting to form on top of it, which, you know, that's that's a little bit of an issue there. Um, I wanted to get up over here. Okay. Let's get over here. Yeah, look at that. The thickest tree ever. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, the blocks are falling on top of it, which is magnificent. That's what I planned on happening, but I did not plan on that. So I'll have to go out there and remove those at some point. Hmm. You know what? You know what? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna start mining it, but I need to take thumbnails first. Hold on. Alright, I think that's enough screenshots. Well, let's mine this. And while I was doing this, whatever we did, I guess the trees were almost fully grown anyways, so whatever we did really did just make the trees grow. So, I don't know if there's a middle part to this thing. It sounds like there is. <laughs> so there's So I guess it's it's a lie. The thickest tree ever is not it's not truthful. There's there's holes inside of it. But you know what? That makes sense. I I, I was going to say I don't know how all of those saplings grew. Um, but either way, we're about to have more wood than we know what to do with, which is good because we do need it for future projects. Um, definitely going to need a lot of wood for that. Um, we're going to need to make our whole base look fancy, but I'm not going to do that this episode. Don't worry. Um, but I will show my... What are you doing? Slime, you're, you're annoying. I got to... Oh, I almost... I thought I was about to fall, like, really far. I'm going to have to kill this slime because it makes weird sloppy noises, and I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear your slip and your slop and your slap. Go off the world. Yes, go off... No, go off the side... Okay, now there's double the slippy sloppy noises. Okay, and I just fell into a big hole. You know what? I've, I've done this to myself. Yes, you're an idiot. You're an idiot. Why'd you do that? Oh, I'm the idiot. Don't don't knock me off the edge. Okay. Don't knock me off the edge. Okay, well, I just fell all the way. I don't know. I was like speaking. I was like looking to the left, and I don't know why. I guess the, the left. I thought that if I looked to the left, my big brain would increase, and I'd be, have the biggest brain ever. And uh, I'd just be able to make a big brain, big brain play. That was a big brain play right there. Did you guys see that? But yeah, I really gotta, I really gotta mine this tree. I don't know why it's calling to. Oh, I can't eat. Can't eat if you're looking at a trap door. Apparently, your guy's like, oh, must flip trap door. Must flip it so bad. Okay, well, we're just gonna mine this whole thing. I mean, <laughs> this is comical. <laughs> it looks fake, but I mean, it just grew naturally. I, I didn't think oak wood would grow like this. I didn't think any kind of Minecraft wood would grow like this. But I bet you could do this with jungle trees and it would work a whole lot better, you know, because they usually have bigger trunks. Uh, don't do, But don't quote me on that. I really don't know if that would work. Um, if you had those massive trees, those 2 by 2s maybe, potentially. I'm not really sure. But those 2 by 2 trees are just huge. I've never liked the way they look. They look too big and unnatural. But we already have... Oh my gosh, we already have so much wood. We already have almost, well, we have one and a half stacks. So, I mean, well, that wood's gone. Oh, dang it. That wood's gone. We're not getting that back. Um, but we're, so much. The The fun part is always going up into the tree. You guys know the struggle. When you when you got one of them big trees and you got to go up inside of it. Now, the only problem is, is like, at some point, if I go on, like, if I ever go off of uh, these blocks right here. Like, for instance, if I wanted to go to this block right here. I would just die, like if I stood on it, right? Yeah, see? So you don't want to go off to the side. Because unfortunately those blocks are, you know, they're poisonous because it's the border. Now the last falling falling, I did remove the border. I don't see the point in removing it here. The world is so big that I really don't need to do that. 
Um, now maybe eventually I will, but for right now I haven't countered any issues with like needing that gone for some like big project. It's not inhibiting me in any way is what I'm trying to say. So I'm going to leave it for now. Um, but I guess this objective that I'm doing right now is to, I'm trying to get all these, these little, these little sideways, um, just gobber flasted wood pieces. I don't think that's a word. Gobber flasted. I don't know. Sometimes I try to make up words. Whopper jawed. I, I use that word, but I feel like that that's a word that's been used not by just myself. He's like, oh, that, that car's all whopper jawed. You know, it's got 17 wheels and 13 exhaust pipes, you know, stuff like that. That car's whopper jawed. Um, you know, Merriam-Webster, I bet, has whopper jawed in the dictionary. It means odd, weird, not normal, um, amongst other things, I think. I'm not really sure. But it is a fun word to use. If you want to impress your friends, say, hey, you look aw awfully whopper jawed today. I, I wouldn't recommend that. They'll probably just look at you funny. And then you get made fun of, cause, cause they're like, you're using not real words. I am, I'm only friends with people who use proper English words. Says no one ever. Um, okay, so I think I've mined out the whole top part. I guarantee you I've missed some, but from where I sit, I don't, I don't see any blocks I would have missed. Is there one up here? Yeah, there is. There's one hiding in the corner. This is why I hate you, Oakwood. You have the weirdest trees. They're just all whopper jawed. There you go. See, we used the word correctly. And it's becoming night, but that's okay. I can collect all my wood. Yes. Come to me, wood. I need you. We have so much oak wood. I don't know what I'm going to do with all of it, but hopefully something fun. All right. Now all these blocks should be able to decay. And of course, there's a freaking oak wood up there. Okay. We'll go grab that. And then we need to head back home and sleep because all the creepy crawlies are going to come out. And uh, they're going to ace us. So I'm going to go back home, sleep, and I'll come right back. Oh, that's not my record button. All right, let's see how much the world has decayed. I hope, or not the world. Well, I hope the world hasn't decayed like that new data pack that came out by that person. I may play that. You guys want to? You guys want to see a little series on that? You know, one of those the world is decaying things, like the 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 world decay data pack. It like makes the blocks disappear. I don't know if I did the right description there. Um, that that may not sound right to you guys, but it's like a, it just literally everything just disappears like your whole world just disappears No rhyme no reason just your world disappears. Okay, so there's a few of these blocks like over here that I've got to get um, And then we can successfully say we mined the thickest tree ever found in Minecraft I'm sure it's not the thickest tree ever, but it's definitely a big tree um, A very big tree which I'm proud of, you know, to say that, you know, during this series, I have mined a tree of thick origin, which means I get a lot of saplings and a lot of oak wood um, and a lot of sticks, too, apparently. Um, I don't eat my apples like I should. I don't I don't really even in real life. Apples are OK. Everyone thinks they're healthy. Let me tell you a secret. Apples are terrible for you. They're just straight sugar. I don't know who started this whole this whole rumor. Apples are super healthy. They have like the least nutrition out of any fruit. They're like, they're worthless. I swear we like bred them to taste good and removed everything that was good about them. An apple a day keeps the doctor away. Nah, it should be an apple a day, but you d or, uh, an apple a day does not keep diabetes at bay. <laughs> Cause it will eventually, if you ate like three or four apples every day, I bet you get diabetes cause you, know, you can't handle all that sugar. Anyways, this whole thing is grown. Let's see how many planks is that because I'd, I'd like to have some planks. Do we have enough planks? Yes, we have very many planks. Can I put them back into the log? No, I'm stupid and we could make a bunch of crafting tables from those but I don't want to I don't want to make crafting tables um, One thing I do want to do is see if I can find some diamonds because I'd really appreciate some demons right now uh, That would be nice but also going to the nether is a good idea because we could gather some more XP. We don't really need the XP. That's a ballsy move. Okay, I did it. Uh, I don't know if we necessarily need XP, but we really should get some. Um, I guess we'll get it in mining. But Oh, I just saw a diamond. See what I mean? They're everywhere. Everywhere. Um, I am curious to see... Cool. I am curious to see how my block farm is doing, so we'll, we'll parkour our way over there from one corner of the map to the other. And you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop this before it even starts. Get out of here, you filthy animal. No one likes you. Okay. Um, 
But yeah, let me know, you guys who haven't commented on my microphone before, let me know what you think about it. I know I've asked a lot, and I'll ask a lot. I'm going to keep asking a lot because I really need the feedback. So let me, give me some comments right now. Um, if you've watched the video up until this point, I really do appreciate it. I'll give you, oh, I'll give you a secret code, and you can type it in the comments, and you'll get your own heart from the Neo Cubist. I heart every single comment on my channel anyways. But to show that you've watched this far, the secret code for this video is going to be 4433. So if you guys have watched it this far, it's the opposite of yesterday's code. Which was 3344, I think. Uh, but yeah, leave me a comment with 4433 and you get your very own heart. Uh, just show me that you've been watched up until this point. You don't have to leave it a like or anything like that. I'm just saying, just leave me a comment. That's all. That's all I need. But let's see how far a block farm has gotten. I mean, I've gotten progressively like further down this entire time because I keep falling and dying. Okay. Oh, my God. I will never make it there. I'm not even close. Actually, I don't know. Am I close? That's, that's the fun part, because I, I don't know. I don't know if I am close or not. I have not been gathering anything, but to be fair, I'm looking for diamonds. And uh, I have not found any diamonds thus far. At least not that I've seen. It would be nice, though, to get more diamonds. It's always it's always a good feeling to get diamonds, guys. Um, whatever the world is, even if the diamonds are super common, you still feel good. Every time you get them, you're like, yeah, I got some... Yeah, see what I mean? You're like, yeah, I got some diamonds. Okay, let's see. How close are we to our block farm? I know we've got... Oh, there we go. Oh, so there's our block farm. Interesting. We don't have that much stuff, but it's okay. It'll slowly work over... It's one of those overtime sorts of things. It's not going to be instant. Uh, but this is what I was talking about in the beginning of the series when I said as the world progresses more, mining gets harder and harder because as you can see right here, it's not simple. Let me make sure. Uh, no, no. Okay. Okay, I just wanted to make sure that I have not completely um, trashed an assignment. Actually, you know, I'm going to check the grade. Hold on. No, I just got... So it was a business memo assignment for uh, business communication. And somehow, I got a 94%. And I put probably a 3 to 2. Probably a 2 or 3 out of 10 effort into it. So I'm very happy to see that. I have a problem. I, I'll be honest with you guys. I don't like school. I really don't. I've never... Oh, I've never liked it. I've always... Oh, there's diamond. I've always wanted to do my own thing in life. And I'm very lucky to have this channel and be able to not work a normal 9 to 5. Um, but I am in college, to be fair. And I will work a 9 to 5 outside of college. But at some point in, in my life, I want to do my own thing. I've never liked working for the man, you know. Or, you know, going by the... Not, I'm not trying to sound edgy here. I just don't think school... I think school... School's good. Definitely stay in it. Definitely graduate high school. Uh, but as far as college goes, I'm not trying to discourage you guys from going to college. It's definitely a good idea. I'm going, if that speaks uh, to what I'm saying here. Um, just don't fully rely on it. You should always rely more on yourself than other people. Um, but it's like I don't want to. I don't want to be stuck, you know, in that whole rat race my entire life. That's not what that 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 sounds like torture to me. Um, especially experiencing it this early in life, you know, being you know somewhat independent and having my own channel. And uh, making money from from having fun, you know, doing something that I enjoy doing and making money, it's nice. Um, and I feel like college, you know, it's going to get you a normal job and that's, that's fine and dandy. But that's why, you know, a lot of people, they say business is a, a bad degree to get, business management especially, a general business degree. Uh, but the reason I'm doing that is because, first of all, it allows you to get into a lot of fields just because it's so general. Um, you know, you're not specifically good at any one thing, but you may be a jack of all trades here. You may be good at a lot of things. And uh, that's what I'm going for, because I want to run my own business at some point, or do something akin to a business. Um, and I feel like I'm on a good path to that. So we have two diamonds in here. We have three diamonds right here. Let's get our Fortune 3 pickaxe out. Let's see what we get. Welcome to the diamond mine. Let's see. I'm just going to do it. Oh, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> it doesn't even matter. It's silk touch. Okay, so that's two, it looks like. Okay, so we're going to get five. Seven. Oh, wow. Okay. So we have a good bit of diamonds. We have ten diamonds. Nine di- Oh, I'm stupid. I can't count. We have nine diamonds. So we're getting there. We're getting close, I guess. It is fun, though, to mine in this world. You just run around. You just, you just kind of run around like a chicken with your head cut off. And hope that eventually you get your very own diamonds. But yeah, our chests are getting stacked up with materials now. Uh, specifically this one, and then this one. 
Um, and I guess it's just because, well, I mean, I have been mining a lot. Um, so I'd hope I have a... Don't try to tilt on me there, dude. We'll go mining a little bit more. I'll see if I can find anything. Um, I will go to the nether at some point this episode because I want to get some more experience. But not right now, not right now. No, please, loud noises, stop! <laughs> you see what I mean? It's so loud, it's so unnecessary. Uh, but yeah, see what I mean? These paths that we made in the beginning of the episode, I said they'll look super cool, you know? And they do look somewhat cool. They feel a little cramped, if I'm honest. But it's okay. I didn't think it'd be, you know, that good. But it is kind of kind of cool. It is kind of cool. You gotta admit, having oh, having your very own path. How many can? How many of you can you say you have your very own path in the world? You know what I mean. You know, and that speaks metaphorically. But what? Back to what I was saying about um, education. I think that college is. It's not. It's not a scam. I don't. I'll, oh, there's two emeralds. I don't think it's a scam or anything. Um, but you definitely have to go now to get a decently paying job. And it's really. You know, I'm lucky. My parents. Uh, worked really hard and they are paying for my college so I'm very lucky a lot of people aren't in that position and uh, if you aren't in that position I wouldn't I, I don't I wouldn't suggest going into debt but I mean it's like the only path which is it's terrible right it only it only rewards people I don't know I don't know but but what I'm saying about college is I don't think you should just fully rely on college you get a degree you're gonna make a million dollars a year I'm not saying that I don't think that's gonna happen um, I think for most people, they're going to graduate college, get a normal job, and then just stay in that grind their whole life. And if you're happy doing that, good for you. That's honestly, I'm as long as whatever you're doing is happy. I've always been a big believer in if you're happy, it doesn't really matter what you're doing. Like, and I know that's cliche, but I just feel like if you're happy, do it. If you're not happy, change what you're doing. Um, and I'm very happy doing what I'm doing now. And I don't want to change it, but I know that, you know, Minecraft's going to fluctuate, you know, it's going to have its its ebbs and flows, and, you know, it's it's going to get popular, it's going to get unpopular, it's going to get popular, it's, it's been doing it for like 10 years. Um, so why are those leaves, man, decay is so slow in this game, I wish they'd increase the speed. And to be fair, they have increased it a little bit, and, uh, oh, okay, whatever, we're not going to go down there and get that, we'll get this one. And then you know what? Yeah, we'll just keep it. So I'm just looking for diamonds right now. No particular reason. I'd like to get full diamond armor. But it is a little difficult to do. You know, diamond armor is not an easy uh, achievement. Even in vanilla. I feel like I can find diamonds a little bit faster in vanilla Minecraft. Uh, just like, you know, a normal world. This isn't non-vanilla. This is still vanilla Minecraft. A lot of people ask me, Neo, what's this mod? How do I get this mod? This is just purely a map for Java Edition. So you have to be on the computer to get it. Um, you know, unless you're somehow running Java on your Xbox. In which case, you should talk to Mojang because you should work for them. If you got that to work, I don't know how you would and especially how you'd optimize it. But if you did, you should go talk to Mojang and get a job because you, you could go work for them and make buku money. All right. Uh, okay. But yeah, I didn't want to dig in this episode and start another project because I had just done that and like I was a little burned out at just digging. So I'm sorry if this is not the most interesting thing, but some people like, uh, some people like listening to me talk and just watching me mine. Um, some people also like to just, I, I get a lot of comments, people like, I just put on your videos and do homework, I put on your videos, go to sleep. If that's the case, I hope this new microphone makes it even better. You know, my if you find my voice relaxing, hopefully this will make it like a tranquilizer to you or something, I'm not sure, but... I'm not sure how you could sleep listening to me. I mean, I guess if I was listening to myself, I would drive myself crazy. There we go. So we have our very own mycelium, which means we can grow a big old shroom, um, which is kind of cool. I want to see how that works. So we'll go back home eventually. I don't know if I have any bones for bone meal. Oh, there's a diamond. Um, I don't know if I have any bones for bone meal, but diamond, here we go. So we have two more diamond to add to our... Oh, man. Okay. Get out of this hole. We're going to get out of the... Okay. Here we go. We're out. So it is kind of difficult. I do use double tap on... Du oh, there's no diamond. I do use double tap on W just for... Uh, I don't know. I mean, I have control too. Like, do you... There's no way. We just found three diamonds in like two seconds. I guess three diamond ore. Hey, this could end up being 12 diamonds. So we have four diamond ore now. So we've been very successful. I guess this area of the map is laden with diamonds. Rampant with diamonds. Ugh. So I keep making these ballsy jumps. Sometimes I'm going to miss. And I'm going to end up dead before too long. Um, 
Okay. Oh, come on, dude. Come on. That was just unfair. Um. Yeah, let's just keep going for these diamonds, boys. Let's Boys and girls. I say boys, but I mean like everyone. Let's go, boys. You know what I mean? Like, I, I don't know. I feel like that's an all-inclusive statement, but probably not because it literally says boys. But boys and girls. Let's go, boys and girls. Let's find diamonds. Hopefully, I can find enough to satisfy my needs here. I'd like to get a bunch and put them out for maybe a cool thumbnail shot. But I already have the thick tree for a thumbnail shot, but I feel like that's just like a weird thumbnail. People are not going to want to click on it. They're like, I don't want to see a thick Minecraft tree. That's dumb. That's dumb. Uh, but we do have a lot of emerald ore still. Uh, we have four diamond ore. Oh, we have four emerald ore on us. So I think there's still some back at the house. I want to mine this grass out. It's, I feel like it's always a good idea to have grass. So we have seven, which is good. All right. Can we get up to here? Potentially. Potentially. Uh, oh, okay. Emerald. I thought I saw diamond. My spidey senses tingled, but they were tingling for the wrong ore. All right. Anything else? Any, any other diamonds? Want to show their ugly, stupid faces to me? You diamond. Okay, so we're getting to the corner where our block farm is, I think, yeah. How, how is, how's the block farm doing? By the way, guys, how, how have you guys been? We've been fine, Neo. Good. Okay, so they're, they're doing okay. As you just heard, that was the block farm. I think I hear a parrot, but I don't know where it is, so I'm not going to look. I am not going to look. I don't even want to know where this parrot is. Um, but yeah, if you guys are curious, oh man, if you guys are curious about what I have my mic set up, I have it set up on a boom arm, I have the gain turned almost all the way down, and I am probably two and a half inches away, my mouth is two and two and a half inches away from the diaphragm of the microphone, um, which makes it sound really deep and stuff, my voice doesn't really sound like this in real life, like I mean I can, <clears throat> you know, here, let me drink a little bit of coffee, this will butter my voice out, watch. Ah, uh, there we go. So if I, if I, in real life, I don't sound like this, but when you're talking in a, con oh, dang it. When you're talking in a condenser microphone, except, especially really close, you get something called the proximity effect, um, which kind of adds some richness and depth to your voice. My voice isn't not that deep. Some people's voices, like the guy who sang Chocolate Rain, Chocolate Rain, <laughs> you guys know what I'm talking about? I've, if you're if you're OG YouTube watchers, you do know what I'm talking about, or you've probably seen it, even if you aren't. I feel like that's a very popular video. That was such a good song. So I started watching YouTube. If you guys are curious, probably when, um, probably around when Fred first started, which is oh man, that's crazy to think about. And then he got on to Nick, and I was like, that yeah, that was the end of him. Um. But that was definitely interesting, um, watching Fred. It, it used to be funny to me when I was a little kid. Yeah, I'm only 20 now. I'm not that old. I'm almost 21. We're almost there. Um, but, yeah, I mean, it, it's just interesting because I've been around YouTube for a while. So I've seen the, you know, all the changes, all the all the new stuff, all the old stuff. Man, we have not found any more diamonds. I, guess, I mean, diamonds are really rare, so I don't know what I'm expecting. Um, but it would be nice to find another diamond or two just for that. We're doing it for the thumbnail at this point. I need to quit I'm just gonna fall my armor my boots are my boots are going by the wayside here. They're just getting destroyed um, All right. Well, I'm gonna run around. I'm gonna try to find some more diamonds. I'll let you guys know if I find them I'll bring it on. I'll bring them in on camera and see if we can uh, mine them out All right. Well, I've been looking for a bit. I haven't really found any more diamonds. It's okay. Uh, we'll head back home We'll place these down, see how many diamonds we get. Um, and, you know, we'll, we'll go for a good thumbnail, I guess. Um, but, yeah, to the person who emailed me, if you're watching this video all the way through, thank you for your email. Um, you said that you could help me with having a modded Falling Falling. I'm sorry I haven't replied to it. Yeah, I read it, and then it was really late at night, and I forgot until now. Um, I'm not sure if I want to do a modded Falling Falling. If you guys want to see that, let me know. Um, I feel like it would definitely would be interesting having, you know, modded blocks falling, modded ores, um, and the likes. I feel like that would be fun. Um, but I don't know how, you know, I don't know, I don't know how it would be. I mean, I know how it would be done. You have to add the IDs to the data pack and have them fall as well. But I'm not exactly sure how it would work. 
Uh, but maybe, you know, I, I think it would work good, but I'm not sure. Let me think about it. But thank you for your email and thank you for your offer to help me. So we'll just do, we'll just do something like this. Um, those are four in the middle. No, one, two, two, three, and then four. Maybe this would be a good thumbnail. I mean, here, I'll show you how I do the thumbnail. Since the video is about to end anyways, there's no point. And I know that's so bright. <sighs> I do apologize, but there's only so much I can do. But yes, we could do a thumbnail like this, you know, but m maybe people don't want to, you know, people don't really care about the diamonds, which is fine. Um, but I did, I do have this light pole right here. You know, it's a pretty cool looking light pole, but it does, it does block, block my style. You know, we, we could do the thumbnail like this and I'm sure that would look fine. Um, so something like that, maybe something like that. You know, maybe we'll do a world progress. We'll do a world progress thumbnail, which, uh, oh, I have to go into creative, so excuse me. And then we have to do this, which is hard on my computer, but it's okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to let the world load. We're going to fly up into the sky. And we're going to get a world progress screenshot. Um, I'm not going to do that insane of an FOV. We'll do something like this. So as you can see, the world has grown quite considerably since we started, and it looks good. Um, it's definitely a lot thicker than when we started as you can see if I can fall quick enough It has gotten a lot thicker Which you know is expected. It's interesting though that there's so many of these little uh, the little bamboos everywhere, but it's okay It's all good. It is very hard especially if I went on 30 FOV to get far enough away To get a screenshot of this world. So it, it's one of those things. It is difficult to get a screenshot um, You know the first screenshot on this was this uh and I'm going to go over here to this corner because I like how this one looks better. Uh, but as you can see, if we fly over the world, that looks a little... Oh, that looks interesting, I guess. Kind of hurts my eyes to look at, so we're not going to do it anymore. Uh, but but we'll, we'll, we'll take a little thumbnail. Is that a diamond? Okay, I was about to say. If I just saw a diamond, I got to go get it. But in survival, we won't cheat for that. Um, so I'll, we'll just do a world progress thumbnail. Um, so I figured I'd show you guys, you know, this is, how, this is how I take my thumbnails. I mean, it is difficult to get them especially on this world um, and you see what I mean I mean it, it just looks all washed out and, it, and that that's purely because of my shader uh, but that looks centered ish I think like that would be centered so we'll go ahead and take this thumbnail I think like that so we'll take f2 so we have one thumbnail shot and then what I would what I'm gonna do is move my FOV to like 50 so you see how far away I'm actually like I'm actually really far away we can come down to like right here. We can get a little bit closer and hopefully the shader will sort of tone back in a little bit. Um, so yeah, now we, we can get a thumbnail like this as well. It really doesn't matter. Um, but I, I feel like a thumbnail like this would also be good. So we'll, we'll, we'll get this one as, as well. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate all the recent viewership on the channel. Um, you guys are absolutely incredible. And uh, I appreciate each and every single one of you. Yes, even you. Even you. And uh, just just thank you guys so, so much. I really do appreciate it. Like, I, I've, I never dreamt of having a channel like this. And the fact that I do still boggles my mind sometimes. I mean, I just, I'll, I'll just think about it and be like, I, I can't believe. This is my channel? No way. It's got to be a mistake, guys. There's no way. This is the Neo Cubist, but we've been going for a long time. I've been recording for like six years. So, you know what? It, it is, I feel like it's not like I deserve it, but I feel like I, I almost expected it, especially after it had been going so well for so long. Um, but, you know, anyone would hope that would, would hope for success, especially after doing something for just, just so, so long. Um, I'm trying to get a good thumbnail, maybe like this. I really don't know. I don't know what what thumbnail shot to get anymore. I'm just I'm just confusion. I want to get a good thumb. Jeez, my voice. I just keep hiccuping. Um, so that's like our base right there. It's fun to fly around in creative. I don't ever cheat in creative, but like I I'll, I will just fly around just to look at stuff. You know what? We will take a thumbnail shot. We'll do one like this, an aerial shot. But you, you guys realize like I have to get so high off the ground to do this. Like if I put my FOV on to 90, like this, that's how high up we are. If I put it on 30, look, we still can't even see the whole world. Oh, just watch, watch this. And it may be become like uh, it may become invisible. Unvisible? I think that's where invisible <laughs> because the chunks will load. As you can see, I'm still going up. I mean, look at this, guys. 
Uh, 30 FOV just is it's perfect for thumbnails, but like oh my god It just looks so weird when you go far out because especially with shaders on it starts to look a little funky And I wish I could fly up faster, but I can't this is as fast as creative mode and default Minecraft allows you to fly And I will run a command To set the time so this is this is what it takes to get a good thumbnail guys It's not all fun and games on the YouTube world it, It's it's a struggle sometimes so I'm going to try to angle this out perfect. Every little movement matters. And uh, it looks more like a diamond to me. <laughs> but you know what? It's okay. It's all good. I think that's just because of the angle I'm at. All right. So this looks centered. We'll take a thumbnail shot here. F2. All right. There we go. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate it. We'll put it on 90 FOV so you can see how truly high up I was. That's what 30 FOV does to you. Interesting, right? Um, oh, can I fall into the house? Yes. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Anyways, bye.